Hello, so welcome to another video. This issue is talking about the VMware problem where you get an error when you're trying to install the software and it says VMNet bridge. So basically what's happening is there's a file which it needs and for some reason it, it can't find it. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan the disk and repair any files first as that's pretty harmless and it could resolve your issue there and then. So we're going to do that. Now you need to run it as an administrator, otherwise you'll get an error. So basically you need to right click on command prompt and click run as administrator. You then need to type the following command, which is sfc space forward slash scan now. And that's now going to start the scan. And what it will do is if it finds anything that needs repairing, it's going to repair that. And if that is the case, you need to restart your machine. Okay, so it's found um, some corrupt files and now repaired them. So what we need to do is now restart the system in this particular case. And we're gonna try continuing the install. So we've just now restarted the machine. Now we can actually see uh, a VMware option to now go in, as you can see here. But we're going to just come out of this just to make sure it's installed properly we're going to make sure that dll file is installed properly so we're going to just get back into the file installer so go back to where you downloaded the executable open go next and then what we need to do is actually click repair because we didn't finish installing it the way that we wanted to so click repair confirm again and that will now bring you back to where you were once it's back to the same spot we should just get the DLL error again because it can't find the actual file so a couple of things to note so I changed the drive letter from what I wanted to install so normally you'd be presented with the C drive that's where most um, people or installations will want to install all the files. I changed that to my G drive because I like to separate things. And secondly, I've got more than one hard drive. So there's a couple of things there. That may be the reason why it couldn't find the actual file, but it is actually in the system as part of the installation pack. So now what we want to do is browse the system to locate the DLL file. So click browse and then what we want to do is just follow the file path as to where we downloaded it. So in my case I know exactly what hard drive I used to select when I installed and I know the drive path which is G. So this is the C drive where it would have normally have gone. So that's the error you will get if you go to the wrong folder directory. So go into my PC, just get to the root level. So we'll start from the top into the G drive and there we go, there's the golden file. So we just click that, click OK, and then that should allow the repair in our case, or in this case, but the actual installation to continue. So that's what you'd need to do. Now in many cases, you may be able to skip the beginning part where we check the disk but just to be on the safe side, that may be the problem if this doesn't work. If you're lucky, then all you'll need to do is just locate the file where it is on your system, and then you'll be at this stage in the first place. But it doesn't work for everyone, so I thought I'd just cover that right from the beginning. So installation is now complete. Click Finish, and we'll just uh, open the VMware just to make sure it opens OK, and then you can carry on with the rest by installing an OS of your choice. 